Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to set up Firebase Cloud Messaging in an Android application using Android Studio. So first, let's create a new project. Here, I will select Empty Activity and let's click on Next. So I will call it My Restaurant Application. Now let's click on Finish. Now the project has been created, so let's set up the Firebase Cloud Messaging. So let's click on Tools, then Firebase, and here we have to click on Cloud Messaging. Now let's click on Set up Firebase Cloud Messaging, and let's click on Connect to Firebase. But here we obtain this error. This is because we need to configure the application. So let's click on OK. Then let's click on this button. It is called Project Structure. Then let's click on Modules. Then let's select APP. Then let's select Properties. And in the Compile SDK version, we need to select a recent version. And here we need to select at least SDK 28. But in my case, I will select SDK 31. Also in the Build Tools, I will select SDK 31. Now let's click on OK. Now let's click on Connect to Firebase. And here we need to build the application. So let's click on Build. Now the project has been built correctly. So let's click on Connect to Firebase. In this window, we have to create a new project. So let's click on Add Project. In this window, let's click on Continue. Then in this window, we can disable Google Analytics, which is not required. So let's disable it and let's click on Create Project. Now let's click on Continue. Then let's click on Connect. And now the application is connected to Firebase correctly, so we can close this page. Now we need to add uh, the Firebase Cloud Messaging to the application. So let's click on this button and let's click on Accept Changes. Of course, we need to wait a few seconds till the end of the synchronization. Now Firebase Cloud Messaging is set up correctly, so we need to obtain the device registration token. So let's scroll down and here we can click on any links which will take us to the documentation website. So let's click on this link for example. In this page we have to click on set up an Android client. Now let's scroll down and here we need to access the device registration token. So let's scroll down and let's copy the source code. So let's click on this button. Now let's go back to Android Studio. So here in the onCreate method, we need to paste the source code. So first let's hide this area. And after set content view, we can paste the source code. Now we need to import the missing classes. Also we can replace the log class with systemoutprintln. So we can remove this. And you can call system out println instead. Also, we can remove the second parameter. Then here, let's remove this class and let's use system out println. We can also remove this message variable and replace it with the token, which is the device registration token. So let's remove this line and let's replace message by token. Also, we need to import the toast class. And here, let's replace the message by token. We can also add a description of this token. Also, it is possible to display this token into any D text. So let's go to the layout. Let's replace this constraint layout by a linear layout. So let's modify the text of this text view. And let's write 
device registration token. Now we need to add a new edit text. So let's go to text, then plain text, and let's drag and drop it. Now let's provide this edit text with an ID. So I will give it the ID et like edit text token. Let's click on refactor. Now let's go back to our main activity. And let's create a global variable of type edit text. Then let's initialize this variable. So I will initialize it after set content view. Then I will fill this edit text with the registration token in the onComplete method. So just here after the toast, I will fill this edit text. Now let's run the application. So this is the device registration token that allows Firebase to send notifications to this application. So let's copy this token. Then let's go to Firebase console. So here let's type Firebase console. Then let's click on this link, it is Firebase console. Now let's select our application, which is this one. So let's click on it. And here let's scroll down. And let's click on Cloud Messaging. Then let's click on Send your first message. So here we can close this notification. And to send a new notification, we have to provide the title. So let's call it, for example, First Test. And let's provide the message that will be sent to the Android application. Let's write, for example, this is my first test. Now let's click on send test message. And here we need to provide the token. So here let's paste the token. And let's click on this add button. Now let's click on test. But we can see that this application did not receive any notification. This is because the notification will appear when the application is in the background. So let's put this application in the background. Now let's send the test message again. Let's select this token and let's click on test. And this time we obtain this notification. And here we have the message, this is my first test.